Welcome to another day of mobility. Today's session, we're focusing our self on the shoulders and the knees. Let's start by finding a nice comfy spot face up on your mat. Take some attention to your breath. Notice that pace of your breath. Notice the depth of your breath. Notice the sensation of your breath. How it's feeling as it enters your body and how it feels on the way out. And we'll slowly start to mold that breath into a nice relaxing pace. And if you like counting your breaths, feel free to count the duration of the inhale of a brief hold of the exhale and a brief hold at the pace that feels right today. And if you've been doing this for a while, if you've been counting, feel free to gradually extend the duration. What we know is the better we can slow our breath down, the better it slows our physiology down and helps us get into a nice state of calm that allows us to recover, to heal, relieve tension, and improve movement. We'll take a couple of breaths with a focus through the shoulders. On your next exhale, just imagine softening through the back side of your shoulder, through your traps, through your lats, through your pecs. Feel those shoulders sink heavy into your mat. Let's take one more breath. And as you let go of that breath, we'll start our focus on the left bicep today. Let's grab our lacrosse ball. We'll go face down on that lacrosse ball. Try to get your arm into an angle you tend to struggle with. If you struggle directly overhead, feel free to get your arm directly overhead. Or if you struggle 45 degrees or 90 degrees, pick your angle. Pick a position you tend to struggle with that you'd like to improve today. And let's focus in on the bicep and zero in on how that bicep behaves in that position to help free it up in the position of restriction. And settle into the right amount of pressure, the right angle of pressure, and the right type of stimulus. We can roll on that ball. We can roll with the muscle fibers or against the grain through those fibers. We can just sit there passively and let that pressure work its way into the bicep. All these methods work for specific different types of issues that we may struggle with. And the only way to know which methods are best for you in this specific tissue is by testing it out. Let's take one more breath here. As you let go of that breath, let's shift our attention to the right side. So let's move the arm, the right arm, into a similar posture we were in on the left. Search through that right bicep and look for where you're carrying tension today. Experiment with the angle of that tension. You might roll on the ball, you may not. You may know which method works better to help you free up tissue. Everyone is a little different, and the only way to know what works for you is by trying it out. So let this program be your own experiment for your own body, getting more in tune with how your body responds. And which version of these exercises is going to work specifically for you? And once you've settled into that version of this exercise, just take your attention back to your breath. Try your best to sync your breathing with that target tissue. So as you're exhaling, imagine exhaling tension from the bicep. Keep that nice, calm, relaxed headspace. Let's take one more long, slow, relaxing breath here. As you sigh at that breath, we'll move into the left trap. 
So we'll go face up on your lacrosse ball, working the lower to mid trap area. Your trap is a pretty big muscle, goes from in between your shoulder blades and up above your shoulder blades. And if the anatomy throws you off, don't worry about the names or which exact location you need to be in to hit this specific muscle. Just focus on finding whatever needs tension in that general area. And then pay attention to how your body's responding as you tackle that area. And traps are a stress muscle. They can be pretty sensitive. Just be in tune with that and adjust the pressure accordingly. We don't want to get into pain. We just want just enough tension and pressure to help relieve that tightness in the tissue. Once you've settled into the right amount of pressure, take your attention back to your breath. Maintaining that nice rhythm of breath that helps you stay relaxed and help find peace and calm. Let's take one more long breath here, directing that air into the belly. And as you sigh out that breath, we'll switch to the right side. So let's pan along that right trap. Look for what needs attention today. It might be tight in the same areas as the left. It might be slightly different. It might be completely different. Do some searching. Do some experimenting with the angle of your arm. Traps can be restrictive in overhead. Find a position you struggle with and see how the traps behave when we get in that position. And once you've settled into your posture, you've settled into your location of tension, focus on getting passive and relaxing through as many muscles as you can. Relax through that face, your head, your neck, your lower body. Stay aggressive as you need to to maintain that tension, but as passive as you can through all the tissues and with how you're responding to that pressure. Mentally go into your happy place and allowing yourself to enjoy the moment. Let's take one more breath here. As you sigh out that breath, we'll move into the left first rib. So let's find yourself a post or a doorway and the first rib is accessible through that pocket that sits on top of your collarbone in front of your trap. And for most people, it's about the right size for a lacrosse ball. And if you find the lacrosse ball is not fitting in there well, you can just use the fingertips. Just find a version of this that helps you relieve that tissue. This can be a bit of a weird sensation. It can provide almost like a choking sensation. So just be sensitive to what type of stimulus and what amount of pressure helps you address this tissue without getting into any kind of anxiety or stress or tension or pain. Just find the version of the exercise that your body's telling you it needs. And generally we do want to be progressive. So if you've been working this area for a while and it's feeling okay, it's starting to get used to it, we can be a little more aggressive as long as we're not getting into pain. We're not creating any nervy issues. Just being sensitive to how your body's responding to everything we're doing here. And mentally staying as calm and relaxed as we possibly can through this whole process. Let's take one more breath here. And as you sigh out that breath, we'll shift to the right side. So again, find that pocket that sits just above your collarbone on the right side. And again, if that lacrosse ball doesn't fit in that pocket like it does for a lot of people, feel free to just use your fingertips and work through that area. And whatever version, again, settle into the right amount of stimulus that helps that area settle down. This is a kind of lesser known area that can really restrict your overhead movement. 
So if you do this while you're in an overhead, so keeping that elbow above your shoulder line, it can be really helpful to help open up this shoulder in the position of restriction. And every chance we get, circle back to that breath. Mentally staying nice and chill. Letting those chill vibes just spread throughout your whole body. Getting as passive as we can. And let's take one more breath here. As you slowly sigh out that breath, we'll transition back to your mat and move into a left shoulder traction. So start by pinning your left wrist to your mat using your right hand and just gently lean away from that wrist. And just be really sensitive if this is a new exercise, pay attention to how your shoulder's feeling. If there's any pain, discomfort, or feelings of instability, just ease off on that tension. All we want is a nice, light pressure release. And the idea is we just want to create space in that joint to allow those surfaces to glide a little better. And again, mentally staying nice and relaxed and calm. Maintaining that nice calming rhythm of your breath. Letting that breath calm your mind and letting your mind calm your shoulders. One more breath here. As you exhale, we'll switch to the right side. So we'll pin that right wrist to your mat using your left hand. Gently lean to the opposite side. Get a gentle, subtle pressure release around that shoulder joint. Find the right amount of stimulus that helps that shoulder relax. And again, you may not feel much here. If you feel a lot, we need to back off. We just want a really subtle pressure release. All we're trying to do is just free up a tiny little bit of space in the joint to get some breathing room in between those surfaces so the joint can glide a little better. So as you're breathing, imagine calming those muscles around the shoulder itself. Let's take one more breath here. As you sigh out that breath, we'll take a seat and put your hands behind you and sit into a seated extension. So with your hands behind your waist at about waist width, just shift your hips forward until you feel a stretch through the front part of your shoulders, a little bit through your chest. And this area can be sensitive, so let's not get into pain or if you feel any numbness or tingling, ease off on that stretch. or on the right level of stretch that your body's telling you it needs today. And once we're there, aiming to consciously relax those target tissues around the shoulder, staying nice and chill. And in about 10 seconds, we'll gently get active. And as we get active, imagine you're trying to shrink the space between your hands and your hips. And let's go ahead, starting with nice, easy tension and pressure, slowly ramping up that tension as we go. Attempting to reverse the stretch. Let's finish with big tension, really squeezing here for the end. Three, two, one. Let's gently reverse. Imagine trying to push your hands further away from your body along the floor. Or push your hips further from your hands, ramping up tension as we go. Really squeezing here for the end. Three, two, one. Big breath out, relax. Get nice and passive. Let your body fall into whatever level of stretch feels right for today. You may find you're in a deeper stretch, which is great. And if you don't find you're in a deeper stretch, that's okay. We're still doing good things. We're still creating strength and stability at your muscle end range and helping make those muscles more resistant to injuries. Let's take one more breath here. We'll move our attention to the left knee. So we'll do a little 
lower left quad release. When we say lower quad, basically the first few inches above the knee is our target area. You might be in that vastus medialis, that teardrop muscle. Along the inside of your knee, might be the outside of the knee, might be somewhere just above that patella. Whatever area needs tension, settle in and trying to sink your breathing to that target area as you're letting go of air. Imagine that target tissue just letting go of tension like a balloon slowly losing air. And maintaining a nice calm, relaxing rhythm of your breath. Mentally staying in your happy place. Allowing yourself to enjoy the moment. Turning off any muscle we don't need. Relaxing through your face. Through your brow, your cheeks, muscles in your mouth, your lower limbs. Constantly scanning through your body for any muscles that are on the note need to be. Let's take one more breath here. And as you sigh out that breath, We'll move to the right side. So let's pan through that lower right quadricep. Again, it could be near the mid side, it could be the outside, it could be the very middle. Look for what needs attention. Experiment with the type of tension we're applying. And once you've found that stimulus that feels right for today, Settle back to your breath. Maintain that nice calming rhythm of breath. Again, if you like counting your breaths, you find that helpful, feel free to count the duration. And just keep tabs on that duration. You may want to challenge yourself to breathe a little longer on the inhale every time, every session. But if breathing itself adds any stress or anxiety to the experience, don't bother. Just find that pace of breath that helps you find calm and stay relaxed. This is your routine. You have to do what feels right for you and your body. Let's take one more good quality, deep diaphragmatic breath. As you let go of that breath, we'll move to a left side single leg saddle. So pulling that left heel up towards your butt. And if pulling it towards your butt while you're sitting is enough of a stretch through your quad, through your hip flexor, feel free to stay right where you are. If you've got a little more flexibility, feel free to lean back with your torso. To get a little deeper stretch through the quad, you can lean back all the way onto your elbows, or if you're very flexible, all the way onto your back. Just being sensitive to what your body needs, how it's responding. If we're getting into pain, we're going too far. There is such a thing as doing too much too soon. Just be patient with your body. Let that stimulus create the feedback, and let that feedback determine how intense we go. Now let's go ahead getting gently active through that left quad. Imagine trying to reverse that stretch, either pressing into the floor or pressing into your hand if you're holding it by your ankle. Ramp up tension as we go. Big tension here to finish up. Three, two, one. Let's gently reverse. Actively trying to pull that heel closer to your butt. Pull yourself deeper into the stretch. Ramping up tension as we go. Big tension here for these last five. Three, two, one. Big breath out, relax, get nice and passive. Submit to the position. You may find you're okay falling a little deeper into the stretch right now, but if we do that, it's by relaxing, not by forcing. Again, fall into whatever position feels right for today. Let's take one more breath here. As you slowly sigh with that breath, we'll move to the right side. 
So pull that right heel up towards your butt. Sitting upright. And start to gently lean your torso back. And end up wherever feels right today. If you're feeling flexible, feel free to lean onto the elbows or all the way onto your back. As long as we're not pushing into pain and all we're feeling is a nice stretch, feel free to press through those limits. Consciously getting as passive as we can through those target tissues and throughout your body. There are some muscles we need in this position, but there's a lot we don't. So if anything is on or tight and it doesn't need to be, just mentally hit the off switch. And in a few seconds, we'll get active here by attempting to reverse the stretch. And let's go ahead. If you find grabbing your ankle helpful, feel free to grab your right ankle. We're gonna press into the floor to resist ramping up tension as we go. Let's add some real big tension here for these last five. Three, two, one, let's gently reverse. Activate that hamstring, pull the heel up in closer to your hips, ramping up tension as we go. Really squeezing here for these last five. Three, two, one, big breath out, relax. Nice and passive. Let all those muscle tissues just slowly settle down, slowly deflate. Get nice and chill, mentally relaxing. Settling back into that nice, relaxing rhythm of breath. Letting go of any stress. Getting back to your happy place. And on your next exhale, we will call it a day. Thanks so much for joining us here for another session of Five Pillar Mobility. Hope you enjoyed the routine. Hope your shoulders and knees are feeling great. If you like the video, remember to subscribe and like the video. We'll see you again tomorrow. Have a great day.